welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we are on the Harley Davidson Pan America. Um, went outside, went in the garage this morning, started right up. That's a change. That's something that doesn't happen very often. In all honesty, I meant to go out last night and uh, put it on the tender so that I knew it would be good to go this morning. Completely forgot to do it, but it started right up anyway. So, hey, it's a positive day so far. We uh, just met up with Josh. You can see him. He's on his uh, GS today. We uh, grabbed us some coffee at A Market here in Newport Beach, California. Shout out to Newport Beach Ducati, which is where I've bought all the Ducatis that I have and have had in the past. Uh, we are heading out to uh, North County, Indian. Um, for those of you, and it's a lot of you guys that have uh, watched uh, the last video on the channel where we talked about me getting banned from the Harley Davidson dealership, one of the Harley Davidson dealerships uh, here in uh, Southern California uh, in Orange County. And, you know, look, being honest with you, it's got, you know, a, a lot of you guys in the comments had said, you know, that this dealer markup thing and how a lot of these dealerships are conducting their business and handling themselves are really starting to, to tarnish the brand. And you know what? I, I agree with that. I, I really do agree with that because, look, there are other manufacturers out there these days anyway that are making a superior product. And look, I, I'm a Harley Davidson guy as well. I, I love my Street Glide. Yes, I've had issues with the Pan America, but all in all, it, it's been a great bike. But do I think the BMW GS is a better adventure bike? Absolutely. Do I think that there are other manufacturers out there like Indian that are making bikes that are comparative or if not better than the Street Glide? Absolutely. So it's got me thinking. So I want to go look. Uh, the awesome people, Andrew Howie, the director of marketing uh, for North County Indian and Biggs Harley Davidson, uh, reached out and they uh, invited invited me to come take a look. And uh, so I want to go out there to their dealership. Josh and I are going to uh, to head up. It's probably about an hour long ride, and we're going to check out their dealership, check out the bikes, and I, I really am considering looking at a 2023 Indian Pursuit Dark Horse Premium to replace the Street Glide. So who knows what's gonna happen? Are we gonna buy a new bike today? Are we gonna get rid of our Harley Davidson? I, who knows? I will tell you that I'm, I'm open. I'm open to uh, the possible thought and idea of it, and I'm also open uh, to maybe switching things up a little bit. So anyway, I'm glad you're here. We're going to take you along for the ride. Um, make sure that you guys are subscribed to the channel, that you click the bell so that you get notified when new videos are uploaded. And between videos, if you guys want to stay connected, go follow me on Instagram at the Steve Freeman. I do want to, I do have to preface though, make sure you are following my actual account. My account is verified, blue check mark. There are several other fake accounts out there. Uh, don't follow them. I don't know who's running them. I don't have anything to do with them. I'll never ask you for money or give you crypto uh, secrets or anything like that. So that's not me. So if you're following me on Instagram, make sure you're following the verified account. And uh, I love communicating with you guys. I'm trying to stay caught up with answering uh, and responding to as many of the comments on the last uh, couple of videos. You guys have, have really supported those videos overwhelmingly. I think the, the band video got over 50,000 views in the first few days, and the other one's over 20,000 now. Um, and, and that's the kind of content that I really wanna, wanna make. I wanna take you guys on these rides and on these adventures, but then also just talk about things that are affecting the motorcycle community. And, and I think that's important. And, uh, and obviously you guys too, because overwhelmingly, out of over a thousand comments that have been left on that video, between those two videos, almost 2,000 comments, they are overwhelmingly positive. Like 99% positive. 
agree with everything that I said in the video, and a lot of you are even providing some of your own stories and your own experiences that have happened at dealerships to you and what you guys think about the markup, what you think about the direction of the brand that Harley Davidson is heading in. So I wanna keep that momentum going. And I've actually got some more thoughts and I've got another video that's gonna be coming out later this week uh, where we talk about a lot of your guys' comments and experiences and then also some ideas that I have about making a list, an actual list of good dealerships that provide great quality customer service and, a, and an excellent sales experience because we want to showcase those dealerships. We want you to know where those dealerships are located. So when it comes to spending your hard-earned money, you're actually spending the money in a place that appreciates you as a customer, appreciates the hard work that you do for your money, and cares about building the community of uh, motorcycle riders and the brotherhood and sisterhood that comes along with it, which is a huge part and it's supposed to be a huge part of the of the Harley Davidson brand. So we're going to do a lot more of that. So for now, we're going to head down uh, north of San Diego to North County Indian, take a look at some awesome motorcycles, and take you guys along for the ride. Normally, we uh, fill up first thing in the morning before we head out, but I completely forgot. So we're going to stop, uh, get some gas, and then we'll get back on the road. You really think it'll take us an hour and a half? Where does it start backing up? Right down there at San Onofre? Ugh. Is there a back way? Really? There's no back road through there? Oh, that's right. I'm gonna pull up over there. So we got gas, uh, we looked down at our map and realized we are gonna have to completely punt the idea of going to North County, India today. The reason uh, Interstate 5 going down to San Diego is completely jam-packed bumper to bumper. Now here in California, we can split lanes, but we're about 39 minutes away from the destination and it said it was gonna take us over two hours to get there because of the traffic. Uh, and yeah, we can split lanes, but man, that, that's white knuckling stuff for, for 30 something miles and, and just not something that we really wanted to do. So we're gonna reschedule uh, shooting the video down at North County Indian. Uh, we're gonna go check out a, a dirt track that we've heard about uh, that we might wanna do some off-roading on since we're on the Pan America, Josh is on the GS. We're gonna uh, take a look at this thing and see something we've been wanting to do for a while is compare these two motorcycles uh, and see really what the positives and, and negatives are between, you know, two of the top adventure motorcycles out there. I think Harley Davidson still has a way to go with the Pan America and 
in my opinion, the GS is just about the best all-around adventure bike that that is made today and has been made for the last, you know, how many ever years? A lot of years. So, different idea. Uh, <laughs> sometimes, you know, you just got to be fluid and, and be able to pivot. We thought we were going to go down to North County Indian today. We did not foresee there being 300,000 people in cars heading down to San Diego. So, we're just going to... Uh, change course do something a little bit different and uh but we we still will make it down to north county indian i am considering buying a, a pursuit dark horse premium uh, and i am when i buy it i am going to buy it from north county indian and andrew and howie and all those cool guys uh down there plus i want to showcase their dealership uh these guys do not mark up their bikes whatsoever uh so that's an important thing and uh we are going to uh to talk with those guys and, and get another date where we can go down and visit with them and highlight that dealership. So anyway, change plans, but uh, nevertheless, here we go. We got a full tank of gas. It's Saturday, out with friends. Couldn't get any better, no matter what the destination. Look at that, we're at 1% on, on uh, the GoPro. I definitely like the battery life on the Osmo Action 3 better. Uh, but we're going to have to change batteries in this GoPro, like, instantly. Does not look like there's a dirt track anywhere near here uh, to me. I could be wrong. I bet it's that one. Well, folks, we are boldly going where probably many have gone before but aren't supposed to. Pay no mind.
And here we go. Okay, guys, so you never know when you think you're gonna be doing one thing, but you end up doing something completely different and it's way more awesome. So as I was saying, uh, we're not gonna make it to North County uh, Indian today because of all the traffic, but my God, hold on, look what we did find. This is freaking amazing. A whole dirt track that goes all the way around this. Looks like we got some jumps over there. Josh, you went around it, what do you think? Yeah, this is beautiful country. I mean, you have all the wildflowers over here. I don't know if you guys can pick it up on the camera, but the ocean is literally right here. I mean, we're in the hills above the ocean. Tons of mountain bike trails and stuff coming off here. I mean, this is perfect. Yeah, I think this is going to be awesome. So what we're doing, what we've got today is I've got my Pan America over there. Josh is on his GS. He's currently taking pictures of his GS. <laughs> All right, we're gonna hop on the bikes. We're gonna go around this thing uh, and check out just how amazing and awesome this thing might be. So let's go. Also, one thing to keep in mind that I did not do last time Josh and I went off-roading was actually put the Pan America in off-road mode. Uh, it does not do well in sport mode on dirt just for future reference. So we're gonna put it in enduro mode. I just had to make sure that I mentioned that part, but I think this is gonna be awesome. So uh, yeah, let's head out there. This is going to be super cool to shoot some videos back here, off-roading stuff. Should have brought the drone. This is so cool. This stuff is really loose dirt, which I don't think any of the adventure bikes do really well in loose dirt. Go 
of these little loop de doops <laughs> down. Woo! God, this reminds me so much of being a kid and riding dirt bikes. Let's hit these again. I have to say, man, the, the Pan America is really responsive. Especially when you have it in off-road mode. I made the mistake of keeping it in sport mode. That was not a good decision the last time we went off-road. All right, we stopped the bikes for a few minutes just to kind of get off and take a look at this amazing place. I mean, this is so freaking cool. All the fly, I mean, it's just a beautiful setting. You've got the ocean uh, right out there. You've got surrounded by mountains. And uh, we'll keep going around this little track, but as you can see, I mean, it's got, you know, dips and turns and banks, all kinds of stuff to really, you know, practice off-roading. Because I know for me, I need to practice before we ever try to attempt to climb that fucking mountain like we did last time. Josh over here goes, oh, I looked it up. It's a beginner. Bullshit, is it a beginner? Um, maybe a beginner if you've been riding adventure bikes for 30-something years. Uh, this though, this, I don't know about Josh, but he'll, he can say, but this to me feels like a good place to come there. There's, there's tight packed dirt and mud. There's loose dirt. There's some sand. There's some small banks, some big banks, little whoop de doos and things like this is where you could come get proficient. You know, you could, you can take your time. I mean, there's nobody out here. Josh and I are the only two people out. Well, I take that back. There's a guy that looks like with his two sons that are riding little electric, uh, dirt bikes around, but Unlike when we went up to, what was it that we went and climbed? Uh, Santiago, Peak. Santiago Peak. Unlike, it was crowded. There were Jeeps and trucks and motorcycles and dirt bikes. And uh, that, it was really stressful. It was a lot of work getting up that mountain and coming back down. But here, come out here where there's nobody around. Nobody's going to laugh at you when you fall because you will drop your bike. It is inevitable. It's going to happen. But it's always better to do it when nobody's around. So nobody can laugh at you and make fun of you. And out here's a good place to do it. And you're probably going, hey, tell us where it is. Not on your life. Because I want to be able to come out here and drop my bike without anybody laughing at me either. Uh, but this is super cool. So anyway, we're going to take a couple more laps around and take a look. I really wish I had the drone with me. I was that close to bringing the drone. Uh, we'll bring it next time. And we'll get some aerial shots and some tracking shots of going around this thing. And as we start working with more motorcycle manufacturers and gear manufacturers, especially on the ride moto side, this will be a really good place to bring the gear and, uh, and test out the gear in real world, uh, real world environment. So this is awesome. All right, let's hop back on the bike. Let's go around a few more times. Back on the bike, let's start up the old trusty steed. And it starts right up. I, the, the, uh, the blessings just keep on coming today. I just can't get over how beautiful that this place is. And my house is like literally maybe three miles. I live right at the ocean, so just right over there. I can come over here late afternoons, get some practice in riding around in the dirt. Because we've got some other bigger rides, adventure rides that we want to do. Off-road, doing some of the BDR stuff. And this is a great place to come. And like I said, practice and build up your skill level. Make sure we're still in off-road mode. If I were on a dirt bike, I'd do some of those banks, but I'm, I'm nowhere near where I need to be rider level on this uh, heavy Pan America to do that kind of stuff. We can do the small stuff like this, so let's do this one.
what this looks like it was, was going to be a neighborhood, like a development, and then like the development just never happened. Honest to God, that's what I think this place is. And I'm going to say something. Look, I'm the first one that's always get up and go. But when it comes to these adventure bikes, seriously, don't try to do stuff that is beyond your skill level or you will significantly regret it very quickly. Take your time. Be careful. Get to know your motorcycle. Get to know your abilities and your limits that'll allow you to have way more fun. Well, you can really tell when you put the Pan America in off-road mode, it really kills some of that low-end torque so that when you go to get on it, believe me, you still got plenty of power, but it's really taken some of it like out of when you're in sport mode. It's got a lot of low-end torque. Takes a little bit of that out of it. Get up here, you can ride a little bit more where the dirt's a little bit more compact. I probably should have the shield down, but man, it feels too good up here in the mountains. Josh is taking content for the gram. Okay, so we got off the bike um, and we've driven around uh, a few times now. This is just a, a really, really cool spot. I mean, like I was saying when I was on the bike, you know, especially when it comes to the adventure world, look, I, I encourage everybody that's gonna be riding motorcycles, you need to be educated. You, know, you need to know how to ride the bike that you're gonna be riding. I know I'm not as proficient of uh, adventure bike rider as I should be, um, but I know a lot of the places around here that we have access to, it's not really for beginners like we were talking with Josh earlier. Uh, but this space here, this is super cool. This is, um, this is intermediate beginner. You could make it as difficult as you want it to be. Um, it could be as beginner as you want, as advanced as you want. There's some really big banks up there that you could do. Although some of this, I would say, um, it's not really suited for adventure bikes, but more so for like dirt bikes and things like that. But this huge oval and the internal 
uh, rings that they've got in there are great for, you know, learning how to really take advantage and make the most out of your adventure bike. So we will definitely be coming back uh, to this place. It is, uh, it's super, super cool. And uh, I don't know, maybe hop on the bike, get out there and uh, make a couple more loops. All right, those are my thoughts anyway. Let's see, uh, let's see what Josh thinks. All right, Josh. All right, man. Top secret location. Yep. What do we think? So, I mean, this to me is the perfect place if you want to learn how to ride adventure bikes. I honestly, you were touching on it a little bit earlier. If you want somewhere to just go practice, not have it be a big deal if you tip your motorcycle over or something. I mean, this has flat tracks, it has whoops, it has soft sand, it has hard sand, it has hills, all of that. We are gonna be shooting a ton of content out here and I'm personally excited even to get to ride around this area a little bit more. I still think we need to do a proper Pan America versus GS video. Absolutely. And that, I mean, we have to shoot it out here. This is, it's such a beautiful area. I'm sure you can see all the wildflowers and bloom all around us. It's 65 degrees and sunny. I mean, it is as perfect a weather as you can get out here. Yeah, this place is pretty perfect. I know I've, I have felt like I've not been able to like really enjoy the Pan America as much just riding it around on the street. And it's like I've wanted to get off road. So maybe this is a this is a good place we can start coming to to really get the bikes off road practice before we tackle Mount Kilimanjaro again. So <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, all right, we're going to do a couple more loops and then uh, probably get out of here and enjoy and relax the rest of the weekend. Plus, we got to edit these videos and get them out too. So a couple more loops. Let's go. All right, we'll gear back up, hop back on the bikes. I am so glad we found this place. This is totally cool. Little bit of cloud coverage today, not your typical Orange County, Southern California day, but it's kind of nice to be honest with you. Hey, Josh, is that not what we climbed over there? I love Josh's off-road lights. That's the next thing we got to do the Pan America if we keep it, is we've got to do some off-road lights for sure. All right, Josh in front, we're gonna have to put the shield down. Oh, I got a little bit of air there, it's always fun. Make sure yeah, we're still in off-road mode. <laughs> I know it seems like I'm compulsively checking it, but I'm telling you, man, I almost killed myself leaving it in sport mode the last time we went off-roading, so. Oh, shit. 
<laughs> that figure's going around at, you know, 50 miles an hour, everything's fine. Doing like zero and you would have dropped the bike. We good? good? All right, yeah, we'll definitely be back over here shooting some content. We'll bring the drone. Man, having the drone up here is going to be freaking awesome. Uh, so we'll definitely plan that for sure. All right, let's go. Let's go. I don't know what's up there. We can find out, though. Finally getting to do some adventure on the adventure bike. Uh, ends up some kind of probably water facility. I think those are water tanks up there. So that's what's up here. <laughs> Although there was another road. You want to go up there? So just so we're clear, in the event there is a, a zombie apocalypse or we get into a Walking Dead, The Last of Us scenario, this is where I'm going to be with all of my guns and my four-wheel drives, my motorcycles. And we'll set up the whole radio thing. We'll send out distress signals and we'll attract all the rest of you guys. <laughs> this is pretty freaking cool. Yeah, I don't know where that goes, and I don't want to get stuck. Super cool. Lo this is a good location, too. I'm almost positive that's what we climbed. It's all the radio, ta all the radio towers are up there. Yeah. We went to the top of that mountain on that motorcycle and this motorcycle. It was challenging. That's the one I was talking about earlier. But we're kind of up here now in view. You can kind of see down there where we were a little bit. I wish we could get a better view. Of course, if I had the drone, we could get a better view of it, but you can kind of see down there a little bit. Look at that. That is amazing. That all out there, that's Ocean and Catalina Island. Super, super cool.
Josh is probably having a little bit easier time out there on the dirt. He's got the knobbies on the GS. I'm just running the uh, factory tires that came with the Pan America, which if we're going to do more stuff like this, not that there's anything wrong with these tires, but these are kind of an all-terrain, if you will, off-road, on-road. Probably going to have to look at getting a little bit more aggressive off-road oriented tire for the Pan America for sure. And we can take it out of off-road mode, back into sport mode. Oh yeah, we do have to attempt to hop the curb here. You want to stop by the house or you want to head back? Okay. All right. I'll be around. I'm going to go edit this video together. Well, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Uh, again, not the video we set out to make, but it's the video that we got to make. So we are going to make it back down to uh, North County, Indian. Uh, go visit with Andrew and Howie and all the great people down at that dealership. But hey, I'm not disappointed at all with how today's video and today's ride ended up finding that top secret location where we can take the Pan America and the adventure bikes off road, get some practice in to go tackle some of the bigger stuff. Man, can't ask for any more than that. Next time we're gonna take the drone, we'll go out, we'll get some really cool shots. Uh, but I'm super pumped about that. I thought that was a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget, smash that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, and I will see you in the next video.